Hey guys, welcome to another video. So, I have an exciting review for you guys today, and that is on this beauty right here. This is the, well, not the RDA, okay? Before we go any further, RDA does not come with a mod, okay? But this is the Vicious Ant Phenom Mech Mod, and mm, this bad boy right here, it's a spendy little piece of kit, but man, does it fucking hit hard. I've got a .11 build in here, and it's just rocking. It's a couple of parallels, nothing fancy, but uh, basically, this mod, I picked it up from my local vape shop about a month and a half ago. It cost me about $160, and it was a little treat to myself. It wasn't like something I go out and buy every day. It was a little treat to myself. This was actually my first mech mod, so I wanted to get a nice one, and I gotta tell you. I am loving mech mods, and I've actually got a little bit of uh, an announcement to make after we finish this little talk here. But, um, yeah, this is a nice, nice little mech mod right here. It's nice, man. So, what's that little talk I wanted to have a talk about? Well, let me tell you. Um, I am going to be starting a new series where we review some clones. Now, before you guys start typing in your comments, fuck clones are fucking gay. Okay, first off, um, clones are not as bad as you think. You know, some people out there can't afford $100 mods each time, and I'm not a huge reviewer. You know, I'm not somebody with 10,000 subscribers or 100,000 subscribers or something like that that gets shit all the time to review. So I figured um, we could do a review on some mech mods. Now, I got this idea from Country Living. He's doing a, a series called The Clone Show. Go check him out. Link's in the description. And um, he is doing some really cool stuff there. So I was like, yeah, it sounds like fun. Why not give it a shot? So I've got two mech mods on order from Fast Tech. Um, one is the Sabone. So it's uh, a really nice looking sort of, it's hard to explain. It's, it's like a bone almost. It's really cool looking, like a whale bone. And the second thing I have on order is a broadside mech mod. Now, I did get the Sabone kit as well, so it's coming with the RDA. So we'll be reviewing that, and we'll be reviewing the uh, broadside. And I've also got a Peerless, an Authentic, coming in the mail. So we'll see what that brings. I've heard a lot of good things about it, so yeah. But anyways, let's stop jabbering. Let's go on down, take a look at this, shall we? Okie freaking dokie, we are down here, and we are taking a look at the Vicious Ant Phenom. So here is the packaging. It says Vicious Ant right here, and then it says Vicious right there as well. Now, excuse my packaging. It's a little bit torn up. Um, you know, like I said, I've had this for a month, and from the vape shop, it was a little bit torn up too, so yeah. So let's pop her open. Maybe. Come on. Come on now. Be good for daddy. You motherfucker, you're not going to be good for daddy. There you go. All right. So... Packaging, packaging is pretty simplistic. You've got your mod and you've got your tool. Now I'll explain what the tool's for in a minute, but inside you've got your mod, okay? This one is, I believe, um, what is on that? Oh, stuff in the packaging, of course. Uh, this is copper and uh, stainless steel, I believe. And uh, this is an authentic, before you ask, to the best of my knowledge. Um, it says Vicious Ant Phenom on the bottom there. It's got these two little Vs. Very nice. Then on the top cap, you do have a 510 uh, connection, so it's not a hybrid. Got your button or your switch here. Very nice. And it does lock and unlock, so it's, that's it unlocked. You can see it's got a very, very short throw, and that's what I like about it a lot. So. There's the button. Now, for this tool right here is used to take off your top cap or your 510 connection, if I can get this out. And here's a little look at that. It's just a simple little tool, nothing fancy. Just pop it in, give it some turns. This thing is kind of a bitch to get in, I won't lie. But you give it a few turns and out pops your 510 connection. So it's got a pin right here. That's what connects to your battery. Then you've got 
Um, this also adjusts for battery rattle. And then you've also got this right here, which is your adjustment for your 510. So if you have a atomizer that's a little bit longer on the 510, this will, you, you'll kind of adjust it. So say if I, what I do is I put my goon on here, for example, I put whatever atomizer I wanna, I wanna get on here. And then what I'll do is I'll take this little pin out. Don't lose that. And I'll just, this is reverse threaded, okay? Now I might have to actually take this out to uh, show you here. All right, so we're back. So we're gonna screw this on, okay? And then we're gonna just start tightening this down. So this is reverse threaded. So if you go, um, Sorry, I'm a little autistic. If you go right, it's uh, it loosens it, and if you go left, it tightens it. So it's basically the exact opposite. But you just tighten this down until you can't tighten it anymore, and then you take your little pin here, okay, this little bad boy, and you just screw it in. And this is not reverse threaded, so you just get it in there and you will adjust it as you go. So there is that. Inside of the tube, don't know if you can really see in there, but it's just, uh, it's, it's a tube. You know, there's no Delrin sleeve or anything like that. Um, so if that's what you're wondering, there isn't one. Now, the button. I'm gonna go over the button a little bit before we uh, disassemble it. This thing is a bitch to get apart. When I got it, it was super tight, couldn't get it apart. It took me a good 30 minutes of prying and fucking with it to really get it apart. So not a huge fan of how the button is assembled. And this thing is a pain in the ass to get put back together too. In my opinion, now this was my first mech mod, so I might just be bad at it. But what you need to do is you need to take a screwdriver, right? And you see these little holes right there, those little holes. What you do is you, not the one in the middle, you put your screwdriver in there and you just start turning it. like that. If I can get it the right way, maybe. Come on. There we go. So you just start turning it. And then your pin, or I'm sorry, your, your switch comes out, okay? And then you have this piece, which is your button. I'm dropping everything. So there's the switch. Now, this uses magnets, okay? Now, there are two holes. There's one that is fully uh, carved out. I don't know if you can see that there. I really need to get a better camera for this, but you can see one is fully carved out if I put my hand there. See that? It uh, shows through. And the other one is not. Now, um, the reason that is, is for venting. So venting only goes through the bottom, okay? And it comes out through that little pinhole right there, okay? So venting-wise, it's, um, it's not the best, but it's, it's there, you know? So um, I am not gonna show you how to reassemble the switch because it takes me probably a good five to 10 minutes to reassemble it. So I'm gonna reassemble the switch. We'll go back up top. We'll vape on it some more and we'll talk about it and uh, I'll give you guys my thoughts. So I will see you guys back up top. All right, before I go back up top, I do wanna to touch on one thing and that is reassembling. So all you need to do, you can put this on either way, it's interchangeable. So if you want the V, the double V's at the top or the bottom, I personally like it at the bottom. So I'm gonna put the switch on like that. Actually, we'll put this on first. So this is gonna to come to my first point and I will talk about it up top, but you're already seeing what I am talking about, probably. Threads are not catching. Now, you, some will say you can use the tool. It, it's honestly easier when there's an atomizer on here, in my opinion. But I will show you with a tool. So, pop the tool on, and it is just, oh, there we go. It, it's, <laughs> almost dropped the tool. But I caught it with my legs. I caught it with my penis, don't worry. All right, put that back on, put our battery in, put our switch on, and 
And there we go. She's assembled and ready to vape. So let's head back up top, talk about it, and I will see you guys up there. All right, we are back and we have assembled it. So let's give it a vape. Mm, I need to redrip. So let's talk about the pros and the cons of it. Okay, we'll go over pros first. Build quality. Build quality is awesome on this thing. It is just perfect. Um, no burrs, no nothing. I mean, you know, like I said, I'm not too much into the reviewing scene, but from what I've experienced so far, there's no, there's no bad machining on it. And it's just, it's a nice, clean device, you know, and one thing that I really like about it is the 510. Not everybody's a fan of hybrids. You know, I haven't used any hybrids yet, but I figured my first mechanical mod, I'd stay away from a hybrid just because they're a bit iffy for me still. I do have the Sabone coming in, which is a hybrid, so that will be my venture into hybrids. But this one does have a 510 pin. Okay, so that's another pro. Another pro, it is 22 millimeters. Now, not a lot of uh, mech mods nowadays are 22 millimeters. They're usually, you know, 24, 25, and they don't fit some of the uh, smaller RDAs. Well, they do, but they look really weird with them. So I'd like to see that, you know, it's a cool little 22 millimeter uh, mech mod. Okay, so now it's time for the cons. Now, the cons are not horrible, but there are a few. So the first one is gonna be kind of subjective and it's nitpicking at best. There's no Delrin sleeve inside or insulating sleeve. So if your battery wraps are torn, which they shouldn't be in the first place, um, and you put your battery in, it may auto fire, it may make bad things happen. So, you know, it would be nice to see that in there, but it's not a big deal. Now, one of my major gripes with this thing is the threads. The threads are very good, don't get me wrong. They're very smooth, they're very well machined, but the problem lies that the threads are so fine that it's a pain in the dick to get the actual uh, top cap on there in the first place. The bottom part, you know, the, the button firing switch, not so much, um, but the top cap is a bitch to get on, not gonna lie. Another pro is that the switch has a very short throw. It is beautiful, fires instantly. I love it. So if you are in the market for a spendy little piece of kit and you want a nice little mech mod, check this out. And it is a nice mech mod, man. You know, for $160, I mean, you know, you can get different mech mods out there. I have not had too much experience with mech mods other than this one. And I really like this one. So I am looking forward to more mech mods in the future. But that is it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know what you guys think of the clone reviews in the description or in the in the description in the comments below and I will see you guys in Tomorrowland. Bye bye everybody.